So here are the three key factors on how you can effectively network. Hi, my name is Cam Devady, I'm from Premier Property and I'd like to share these three key factors for you. Now in this video we'll be covering one of the major factors and I'll follow through with the second video and the third video as well. Now, you may know people who go along to networking events and they love networking, they love to be speaking with people, they love to be around people. However, what they find is that uh, they may speak to one or two people and they find at the end of the conversations, they've just been random conversations, they haven't really gained anything from that and they go away and they have to wait another 30 days where they come back and they have to do the whole process again and it goes around and around and around. Or there's people who go to networking events who don't really like networking. You know, they're quite shy, they're quite uh, reserved people who actually enjoy their own company. But they go and network because they're looking for joint venture partners, they're looking for people to work with, they're looking for tradespeople, they're looking to become well known within the property community. But what happens is they sit in the corner, they don't really know how to approach people and they wait for people to come and talk to them and they, know how, they don't actually have an introduction to pay and they don't know what to say and they don't make effective use of their time either. Now, what I'm sharing with you in this video is the one key factor which will allow you to become an avid networker, become a real go-to person where everybody wants to know you, wants to speak with you because you are that go-to person and where you, know, you can actually generally help other people. You can actually help other people in that property community, in that network. So how do we do this? So this is number one tip in this video, which is make sure that you have a fantastic 30 second introduction. And it makes all the difference. It makes all the difference for you to network effectively. Now, this take me, it's actually took me um, a number of years to develop and to work out, um, but this is why I'm sharing this with you. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing is this. Before our introduction, it's very, very, very important that we actually listen. Yes. Listen to the other person. Let them speak about themselves. Let them share what they do. Really listen. And listen, actually listen and focus on what they are saying. And really hear them. Now, once you've done this, you then start your introduction. And the introduction goes like this. The first part of the introduction is something which really grabs their attention. So you say something where you can really introduce yourself without actually saying your name. So that might be something like, for example, these are things I've used in the past, are you passionate about property? That's something you can use. Or you can choose your own, make it your own, make it something that fits with yourself, that makes sense, that when you say it, it resonates with yourself. So stay with me on this, it makes sense and it works. So once you've done that, the next thing is to introduce yourself. Who are you? So just mention who you are. And then the next part is actually working out how you can genuinely help the other person and mention that in your introduction, how you can help them. Now, when you're explaining this, it's short, it's crisp. Like I say, the whole of this will take no more than 30 seconds. And it means that the other person keeps engaged with you so once you explain this, the next part then is to actually ask. Ask them, do you know of anybody who may be wanting the service that you're offering? Do you know of anybody that might be interested in your offer? Now by doing this, you're doing two things. Firstly, you're easing the pressure off of that person because they feel more relaxed. They feel more calmer with you because you're not actually asking them directly. And secondly, what it means is you've actually asked for what you want. You've gone to that network event, you've spent hours probably traveling there and you're going to spend hours going back. You're probably spending an evening there and you're networking and it means that you actually retain the information um, that you're sharing and you actually get something from that networking event. You actually gain. So your 30 second introduction formulated like this will really help you. Now what I'd love you to do is to actually, at the end of this video, is to really sit down and think about this right now and take the action of actually creating your 30 second introduction of what it is for you right now. And it doesn't matter whether you're a new property investor or if you're an experienced property investor. Now, some new property investors, sometimes they think, well, you know, what do they, do they have to offer? But have a little think about it. I bet you've got a lot of passion. You're listening to this video right now. I bet you've got a lot of learning to do and it's something that you can bring to the table, that you're willing to learn. 
So that's brilliant. And if you're an experienced property investor, maybe you have teams and systems in place already. Maybe you are able to become a fantastic joint venture partner for somebody. So just relay this, make it work for you and write this introduction down right now and feel free, send it to me. I'd love to hear your introduction, I'd love to know more about you. So send it to me and I'll, over, over, uh, I'll, I'll look it over for you as well. So my name is Cameron Devady from Payment Property. Hope you're enjoying these tips and look forward to sharing with you the second tip uh, in this series.